Hello guys, welcome back to e Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily e Civil Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the support reaction for this simply supported beam. This is a simply supported beam with a total length of 8 meter and it carries a triangular load and a rectangular load. So there is quite different loading acting on this beam. So we let consider this is support A and this is support B and we are going to find out their support reaction RA and RB. To start with the support reactions, first we have to calculate their concentrated load. This is a uniformly varying load of triangular load. This is a triangular load and then we have the rectangular load. So the triangular load is up to the distance of 2 meter and then we have rectangular load from 2 meter up to the distance of 4 meter. So there, there is a rectangular load. So we have one triangular load and one rectangular load. So first we have to find out the load, the pointed load of each shape. First we have to find out the pointed load of this triangular, of this rectangular. And then we find out the pointed load of this triangle. In order to find out these loads, we have to find out the area of their shapes. The area, let's consider the area of this rectangle is based into height. So A1, the area is based into height. So this rectangle is a base of 4 meter and has a height of 4 kN per meter. So meter meter will be cancelled. We got 16 kN. So this is the area or we can say pointed load of this rectangle 16 kilonewton. Now similarly we will find the area of this triangle and we will find out the pointed load for this triangle. So it is A2 equal to half base into height. This formula is used to find out the area of the triangle. Now half base is 2 meter for this triangle and height is again this this is the same height so it is 4 kN because this height of the triangle goes from this point up to the end of the load. So this is also 4 kN per meter. So height is again 4 kN per meter and this was 2 meter. So meter will, meter will be cancelled and we got 4 kN. So we have A2 or we can say the pointed load acting on this triangle is 4 kN. So we find out the total load, total pointed load acting on each of the shape of the load. First was the rectangle and then it was the triangle. Now it's easy for us to find out the moment. So let's consider summation of moment at point A equal to 0. To find out the summation of moment at point A equal to 0, we have to take the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. This is just our sign convention. So RB force will create moment in the anti-clockwise direction about point A. So it will be minus RB multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this B point up to A which is 2 plus 4 plus 2 which is 8 meter. And then this load also creates a moment rectangular load about point A and it creates a moment in the clockwise direction. So it will be plus 16 multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this centroid rectangle up to point A. So it is half of the 4 which is 2. This load will be half of the 4, 2. This 2 plus 2. So the total will be 4. Then again, this load, triangular load, also creates a moment about point A in the clockwise direction. So it will be again taken as positive and 4 kN multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to this 4 kN. So this is X. This is unknown to us. So if this is in a triangle, let's suppose total length of L. So the centroid lies a two third of L from this end and from this end up to this point it will be one third of L. So similarly from this end up to this point it will be two third of L. 
So it will be 2 third of L where L is the length of this triangle which is 2 meter. So this is the way how to find out the summation of moment at point A equal to 0. Now 8RB will be shifted into the right side. So we get 8RB equal to the, if we multiply all these quantities, so we get 16 into 4 plus 4 into 1.33. So 8RB will be equal to the 64 plus 5.32. So we got 69.32. 8RB and RB comes out to be 69.32 divided by 8. We got RB equal to the 8.66 kilonewton. Now, this is the support reactions at support B, 8.66 kilonewton. Similarly, we will find out the support reactions RA. So, by using this equation, summation of vertical force is equal to 0, the upper force is taken as positive. And the downward forces are taken as negative. So the upper forces are RA and RB. So RA and RB are taken as positive and downward forces are 16 kilonewton and 4 kilonewton. Summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. So RA comes out to be 16 plus 4 minus RB and RA 20 minus RB we know that it 0.66. So we got RA of 11.33 kilonewton. So this is the support reaction at support A, 11.33 kilonewton. Hope you guys understand how to find out the support reactions when you have any uniformly varying load acting on the beam. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.